Hello everybody, we're gonna get started. Welcome. My name's Travis Mart, and I've lost over 100 pounds on the program. Come off all prescription medications, and as I tell people every day, it's been the honor of a lifetime to share this lifestyle with so many and to see God use it and lives transform, not only from the outside appearance, but also in the inside. So what a journey it's been. And today the journey continues. We wanna welcome all of our new folks. We've got free community members here. We've got lifetime members here. And we've got our partners here. Special thanks to our lifetime members and partners. We could not do this without you. It is you that is allowing us to help so many people in the name of Jesus. I mean, we are the body of Christ. If we don't touch people, then Jesus can't touch people. He uses the church, the body of believers, to touch human hearts and souls. And that's what we're here to do. And I just always want to pay homage to our lifetime members and partners because without you, I'd be so limited in my reach. I'd be able to help a few people every day, not hundreds, sometimes even thousands in a day's time. So thank you so very much, lifetime members and partners. This is truly your ministry too. So we appreciate you. We're gonna get started um, today at 11 a.m. this hour. Uh, we're going to uh, emphasize food combinations and meal ideas for those that need help with that. Uh, that will be the, the, cent the centric theme for the 11 o'clock hour. And then at noon, we do uh, open forum Q&A. And uh, it's a great time to get your Shibboleth journey, journey personalized for yourself with your questions. And uh, I look forward to that noon, noon hour as well. Uh, we can do Q&A here in the 11 o'clock hour if there's no, no one really struggling with meal ideas and food combinations. That seems to be a theme when people begin our program that doesn't necessarily spend the time uh, up front immersing themselves in the fast track system learning the fast track system, the foundational nutrition program. A lot of people join with the expectation of just being given a diet. We do a lot more than that. We can certainly give you a personal meal plan. Uh, you can get a mentor appointment, personalize your food combinations, your meal ideas. We do that for no charge. It costs us, uh, but uh, thanks to our partners and lifetime members, we're able to continue doing that for now. So free mentoring one-on-one -on -one if you're struggling. Uh, but the idea is for you to learn how to put your meal ideas and food combinations together for yourself. There's an old saying that if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. And that's our approach here at Shibola. So welcome everybody. Uh, please, if you haven't been through the fast track system, go through the fast track system. I am aware that our uh, free community members are yet to have access to the fast track system. Um, but in the meanwhile, you, you know, once you get to know what we're, what we're doing, what we're about, you can upgrade and get that. It's only $49 lifetime membership. So come go with us. Meanwhile, I'm happy to teach, provide free tools, resources, teach Monday through Friday at 11 and 12. So let's get this thing started. Welcome everybody. Welcome. This is the day the Lord has made. So any questions related to food combinations or meal ideas, and I'll put up the chart. I'm going to go to just so it might stimulate some uh, conversation. So I am in the website and I'm going down to the best place to find the food combination chart is in our food library, uh, excuse me, our video library and I'm pulling up the advanced food combination chart. This is our advanced food combination chart, where if we apply our six daily disciplines, we're having a perfect day. This is one of the daily disciplines, eating in the right food combinations. After two perfect days, following uh, adhering to those six daily disciplines, you are in efficient fat burning mode. So here we have our red column combinations, our yellow column combinations, and our blue column. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. Thank you, everybody. So the, the red column is your best fat loss column, not necessarily the best wellness column for, for your long-term approach, but definitely the best fat loss 
fat loss combination column. And then yellow is a close second. Hey, Terry, welcome. The yellow, the yellow column, very good weight loss from the yellow column. So the red and yellow columns are going to offer you, along with the six daily disciplines, the Shibola Shield, they're going to offer you the fastest, most helpful weight loss, fat loss, I should say, and muscle preservation. The blue column is that enjoyment column. Uh, we can lose a little bit of weight using the blue column, uh, but going to be a little slower fat loss because you're, you're eating a few more calories, but you're still doing something very important with the blue column. Normally, when you eat a category three, or a category five and some of the category sixes, you can get um, a blood sugar rise that causes a substantial release of insulin from your pancreas. And when you get that, you cannot lose body fat. I wish everyone in this space, in the industry would be teaching this. We could really save a lot of lives because insulin, that hormone is a growth hormone, a fat storage hormone accelerates appetite, destroys mitochondria. It's a runaway fat bus. But by learning food combining and putting the essential uh, and non-essential amino acids via protein and putting fiber, lots of insoluble fiber, with these threes and fives, we can neutralize insulin. So now we can have our potato. We can have our corn. We can have long grain brown rice. We can have some of those things that we might have been told in the past were not good for weight loss. They can be good for weight loss and you can live a healthier and well life by incorporating them into your lifestyle. You just have to understand food combining. There's a lot of essential nutrition in category three and category five that we need to get into our diet. So let's get this started. Any questions for me about food combining, meal ideas, and if there's no questions about meal ideas or food combining, we can, we can go on and open this up before the 12 o'clock hour and answer some questions. Susan has a question online. Rice cakes. Could I eat with turkey breast like an open face sandwich? Library says eat with peanut butter as a snack. I'm wondering if I can do it in a meal. While we don't uh, really like rice cakes for weight loss, they're one of those things that we can get by with as long as we perfectly pair the right things with that rice cake. So Susan, if you're having one rice cake at 70 calories and then add a lean protein or fibrous carb to it, like turkey would be a lean protein, up to 200 calories, you could call that a snack. Does that make sense, Susan? Let me know if we need to dive deeper into that. So you can do it, it is lawful to do, not the most expedient thing to do unless you're of the right mindset. And then it's very expedient. If your mindset is lifestyle over diet and, it, you know, I'm willing to do this the right way and not get discouraged on days I don't lose a pound, then you, the right mindset is to, to have that rice cake in the right way. But if you're one of those people that if you don't drop a half pound a pound a day, you're getting extremely discouraged, uh, then rice cakes are not very expedient. So rice cakes aren't a problem for me because I'm in this for life. I'm not just in this for a few days. Yeah, yeah, the rice cake will be fine then, Susan, as long as you're okay with, you know, a slight slowdown in your overall weight loss. But it's not going to stop your weight loss because you're putting that turkey with it. I like rice cakes. I just have to really control the portion. It's basically just mushy food that we got to put. People ask back in the day, how can I have rice cakes? So under 200 calories with some significant protein source, we can really blunt the insulin. Anybody else? Any other questions, food combinations, meal ideas? Hey, Jessica, I think I did see something this morning as I was trying to multitask where you posted the butternut squash in the protein powder tastes like a loaded sweet potato. Awesome job. That's a good, really good thinking, smart out of the box thinking. And I bet it was delicious. 
I love butternut squash. I, I like to have them as my void replacement for hash browns, uh, French fries, all kind of things. Great job. Anybody else? Karen, hello, Karen. Can I add some watermelon and frozen spinach into UMP protein powder? I need the iron to donate platelets. Um, long as you understand that, that uh, smoothies are not the best for weight loss. Um, first of all, you got the watermelon that's category five. The frozen spinach is a category two. UMP protein powder is a one. So if we go to our food combination chart, Karen, it says we can have a one, a two, and a five. Had I rather you have the watermelon for dessert right after eating a whole food, lean protein and fibrous carb? Yes, but your combination works. The only challenge with that, if you do that too often, we will see a significant slowdown in our weight loss due to the insulin impact from the watermelon because the powder that you're having is pre-digested. There's a good time to have it. Um, it's, always, it's always a good option. Uh, and you've got a good combination there. I'm just giving you the pros and the cons of it. So I think that would be fine for you to do. Alice, if I have a category four, can I still have a category six? So if we go over here to our chart, Miss Alice, I won't find a category four and six. Now, this is a teaching moment. This does not mean that some category sixes won't work with some category fours. This is what we would call a perfect pairing. But wholesale, if we look at the whole picture and all of the variety, there's some fours and sixes that should not be combined. So if I know specifically what the four is that you wanna have and specifically what the six is that you wanna have, I may can put you together a perfect pairing. Hope that helps. Tabitha, I'm eating the Buffalo grilled cheese from the recipe library right now, and it's amazing. It's one of my favorites. Good job. Awesome one. Christy, can you add Fairlife milk to the Beverly UMP powder? Christy, this is another frequently asked question. Um, that is not ideal. It is allowed. Okay, so lawful, but not the most expedient. It's not a holiday, it is a perfect meal. It's just not the best thing to do. The best thing to do with your shake, Beverly's a very high quality shake, is to add water or uh, surprisingly Egg Whites International as your liquid base. But if you, I, I have tried to talk people out of the milk, milk with protein powder for years and I just can't seem to do it. So it's allowed if you think it is adding to it's not adding to the nutrition, it's taking away from the nutrition. But if it makes for a more enjoyable way for you to get the intake of that protein in, go for it. It's not, it's not poor enough of a combination for me to make a fuss about. Does that help? Again, given pros and cons, you'll have great success doing that, um, but you'd have better success not doing that. Alice, chicken thigh, small potato, with green beans. Um, chicken thigh is a category four, relatively, uh, it's not really that fatty. Um, would you do, would you mind doing sweet potato, Alice? Now your chicken thigh is a four, your potato is a three. So you're not supposed to have a four, three, and two. You understand that, right, Alice? So four threes and twos are bad. This is not a six and a four. Um, this would be a four, a three, and a two. Chicken thigh is a four. Potato is a three. Green beans is a two. Much rather everyone here have the chicken thigh with the green beans. If you wanted to have a little potato with that chicken thigh, if you had a very small sweet potato, I suspect that it would be low enough on the glycemic end of the index for you to call that a perfect pairing but it's uh, normally what you just mentioned there would be a pretty, pretty clear cut holiday. Wanda asks, what is the hemp hearts and hemp flakes uh, category? Okay, or HHF, I just told that, hemp hearts and hemp flakes. So hemp flakes are one plus two. 
hemp hearts are a category six superfood. But I come up with some plateau breakers uh, and I pulled those two out of their respective categories and I made them their own category as well because a great plateau breaker is any lean protein with hemp hearts or hemp flakes and nothing else. That's why I pulled those out, but that's what that stands for. Why is MCT so important? I see the blowtorch includes MCT, why? Well, it's, an, it's a product. It's as important as when you desire chicken breast, that, that chicken breast is a great protein source, it preserves muscle. It generates uh, a lot of me metabolic energy. It's that kind of important. It's not mandatory. So MCT oil, the only reason that I use it in my program is to replace as a cooking oil when a, a recipe would call for a cooking oil. That's the only time I use it. Now, I am aware since I started the program 20 years ago that now MCT wasn't when I started MCT is now a gross marketed product, right? So they want you to consume more, use more. It does have its um, uses for the bodybuilding community when they're trying to bulk up, has a muscle preserving effect. We don't use it that way. Everyone here is trying to lose weight. So when we're at home, we're using this where we would normally use a cooking oil. If a recipe is not calling for a cooking oil, there is no need to use it. So is it important? It depends. So I put it in the red column because if I'm just having a category one or category one and two, I'm not giving my body any, uh, any usable energy that doesn't require the breakdown of protein. We don't really want to train our body to break down protein on a consistent daily basis, because in effect, we're training our body to break down muscle. Don't wanna do that. MCT oil has a muscle preserving effect. So when I have a one plus two plus MCT, the MCT oil gives me the energy that a carbohydrate would. So now my energy levels increase. MCT oil has almost zero propensity to be stored as fat. It burns up as an energy source extremely rapidly. But by adding that MCT and getting no insulin impact and the body using it as energy and giving me more energy, I'm keeping my body, my body is now avoiding using the lean protein as an energy source. And rather it's using the lean protein to preserve my muscle and my metabolism during a time of calorie deficit. When you're in a calorie deficit, you have a you experience a lot of metabolic breakdown. So we've kind of offset that by cooking with MCT oil when a recipe calls for MCT oil. Hope that helps. If you need me to dive deeper into that, let me know. Karen asks, can I have fair life fat-free with a mighty muffin? So let's unpack that. So down here on our legend, a meal replacement and a snack exist. So a Mighty Muffin is best used as a meal replacement, can be used as a snack. We do not like folks to add anything with extra calories to a meal replacement if they're trying to lose weight. That is counterproductive because the Mighty Muffin by itself is filling. So you're only wanting the fat-free, you're only wanting the Fair Life milk to enhance the pleasure of the meal. It is not helping your metabolism at all. But if you really desire it and you want to add it to give you more pleasure, more enjoyment, that is the right thing to add to that Mighty Muffin. So if you have a meal replacement and you add a category one, Fat-Free Fair Life is a category one, I would suggest that's a perfect pairing. It is never ideal to add extra calories to a meal that has everything in it already that you need. Does that make sense, Karen? Lawful, y'all are asking some great questions today that offer the opportunity for me to teach pros and cons. So you're pushing the boundaries, but that's okay. You did not exceed the boundaries. Let me know if that made sense. So Alice doesn't like sweet potatoes. So she's asking, would corn or lima, bean, lima beans work? So corn would not work either. Corn and potatoes are a no-no with a category four. 
you're asking for trouble if you add category threes and fives to any category four. Now, you picked out one at the tail end there, lima beans, that are full of protein and fiber. Corn is not. Sweet potatoes are not. But lima beans are full of protein and fiber. So if you wanted chicken thighs and lima, be lima beans together, you would call that a perfect pairing. So whoever looks at your journal knows that you knew what you were doing because normally we do not put fours and threes together. In your situation, again, this adds to the discussion today. This seems to be the spirit. We're asking what can we get away with but still stay in efficient fat burning. You would be able to get away with chicken thighs and lima beans. Maintain your portion at a quarter cup though, Miss Alice, during the weight loss mode. Terry, still cut oats with hemp flakes, doable. Um, still cut oats, uh, quarter cup prepared with three tablespoons of hemp flakes. Um, that would be a one plus two plus three. Good job, you could do that. I just got a grass fed, half of a cow grass fed. The hamburger that I got, how will I count it? Category four. We don't go by that it looks lean. We go by where we should put ground beef typically if we don't know the leanness, category four. Hemp powder also included. Uh, hemp powder is not as good as hemp flakes and hemp hearts, but hemp powder is a category six superfood and should be treated like a category six. James says, I assume that all MCT is not the same, right? That is true. You don't want any emulsified MCT. If it's thick and creamy looking, you don't want that. Um, you want it to be, uh, you want it to be able to see the, the product ideally, uh, and it should be clear. Uh, it should be not as, uh, the viscosity should be, uh, viscosity will be very minimal. Uh, the thickness and viscosity of it, uh, it will be just a little thicker than water if it's good cooking MCT. Not that cooking with the others is going to hurt you. It's just most of them now um, are part coconut oil. And coconut oil is allowed on our program and is approved as an MCT. But if you're looking for the most optimized cooking oil, the only, the only ones I've found on the market is ours. Uh, and now, in, if, you, if you prefer buying another brand, uh, N-O-W, Now, and Perillo. Those are the best ones optimized for cooking. You're welcome, Alice. You're welcome. Lisa says, happy to be back on Shibola. Oh, wow. Thank, I got stars. Where's my Elvis stuff? I, I even have me some hair now. Thank you so much, Lisa. I got stars. It's been a few lessons. I didn't even have to solicit them. Thank you, Lisa. God bless you. Appreciate those stars. Thank you. That was so sweet of you. Thank you on Facebook. Sent me 530 stars. I feel blessed. God is shining on me today. Thank you so much. And more importantly is welcome back to the planet. Nikki, where does venison fall in the categories if you process it yourself and do not add any fat to the meat? Wild game, uh, well, I shouldn't say all wild game. Venison in particular is very lean uh, if you don't add any fat at processing. So you can count venison as a category one lean protein uh, as long as you haven't added additional fat during processing. I love this. I love that y'all are asking some questions where we can keep you personalizing your journey. This is what's beautiful about Shiboleth. I hope that y'all enjoy these sessions as much as I do. I love feeling of service and of use. No excuses here today. I love it. There's nobody has excuses. We're not trying to overcome and combat excuses today. We've got a bunch of people living and eating under the Lord that just want to further their education. That's so beautiful. Anyone else?
Anybody at all? Okay, uh, Sherry, what can I add the hemp powder to? It makes for a good shake. Um, so with hemp powder, now I'm gonna say something that sounds like a contradiction. Hemp powder probably is best mixed with fat-free Fairlife milk or Kroger Carbmaster milk because it's hard. It's not the most, for most people, it's not the most tasty protein powder. It's the healthiest protein powder, uh, but it's not the tastiest. So maybe the fat-free Fairlife milk or Kroger Carbmaster in that case. I've had... Um, my favorite recipe with hemp powder when I feel like I need hemp powder, which is rare, uh, would be fat-free Fairlife milk, some Halo Top ice cream, and uh, blend that together with, with a scoop of hemp powder. That makes for a delicious, healthy shake. Christy, how do you get over a weight loss plateau? Well, there, there are many ways to get through a plateau, but first we would have to understand how you're defining a plateau. So could you define a plateau? Here's what I would need to know in order to help you get through a plateau. Uh, first, we have to look at your definition of a plateau, okay? So um, because it could be that we're dealing with an erroneous expectation. And we all do that. I do that. Uh, we all deal with uh, fictitious expectations that just aren't going to happen. Hope deferred makes someone miserable. So first, we want to get our definition right. So in order to understand, in, in a seven-day period, out of a seven-day week, Monday through Sunday, how much weight did you lose? Weight loss over seven days. How many holidays did you have during that seven-day period? And then we would be able to, to determine what you need to do to break through the plateau. Also, we need to know, are you journaling? We also need to know your height and your current weight and how much total weight loss you've had. This will help us determine whether you can break through, whether what you should do to break through a plateau or if you're even dealing with one. Now you may say, well, my expectation was to lose five pounds in a week and I only lost one. Then we got to really deal with your expectations. So let me know how I can help with that, Christy. Tammy says, I started seeing food as categories, and when I see pictures of food that is not good, it disgusts me, and I feel sick. Me too. I have categorical numbers floating over my plate every time I eat. I've been doing this so long. Good job. Uh, Christy, not necessarily should you go back to blowtorch mode. Let's, let's unpack some of this. I won't be mean to you. I just need to know how much, when you say you hit a plateau in seven days, what was your weight loss? How many holidays did you have? Did you journal? And what's your height, weight, and total weight loss? And then we'll be able to easily break through this plateau. Uh, Shanda, no uh, sugar-free chewing gum does not break a fast. We won't have to worry about uh, chewing gum. If it's approved chewing gum, low sugar, no sugar, that's not gonna break your fast. It's, it's something to, uh, it's good to help you get through your fast, it's good. Sally wants, uh, do I have anybody with me here? Sally, hold on, let me see if I have Joni with me. Don't have Joni with me today. So um, you need help with the, the line videos. So if, it's, if it takes me too long, I'll have, to, I'll have to abandon this. Let me see if I can find those for you. And if I can't get it to you real quick, then uh, just because I don't want to keep everybody waiting on us, then we'll get you some help after class. Okay. So the best place for you to go is going to be in the video library. So let, let's walk you back through that. So I'm in resources and I go to the video library and to Tiger's Eye. And then in Tiger's Eye, I will see the Tiger's Eye videos. Shibola's Perfect Days, Line and Shark Day Explanations. So this will walk you through 
uh, your line and shark day and how to incorporate them into your lifestyle. Is that what you're asking for? Or are you asking for uh, something differently than, than these videos? Karen, can you have, can you have fat-free fair life milk with a PBJ and sandwich? This is, this falls in the same category of the other questions that have been asked today. And my answer is going to be similar. Your PB and J sandwich is a complete meal. You've got your category six superfood, your peanut butter, two tablespoons of peanut butter, maybe some approved jelly or jam. Then you've got your category two bread. Adding additional non-necessary nutrients to that eating episode slows you down. So you're having a PB and J, which is a category six peanut butter, a category two bread, a complete meal. A zero calorie beverage would serve you better here. But I understand for the enjoyment, you're asking, can I do it? Not necessarily to lose weight faster, but even if I lose weight a little slower, would I provoke the fat bus if I added milk to it? Anytime you add milk, it's like adding bread to something. So in this meal, you've got bread, which is a lesser, our approved breads is a lesser evil. Then you got another bad substance, milk. Milk never does the body good, not even our approved milks. But we've added the best ones for your enjoyment so that you can make the lifestyle practical, sustainable, and fun. So your fat-free fair life milk is a category one. Your peanut butter is a category six. And then your third ingredient is your category two bread, a one, two, and six. So I asked the group, is a one, two, six allowed? Can, can she have a one, six, two? Got a no, got a yes, yes. It is in the food combination chart. So let's keep frustration down. Okay, I understand that you're confused. Let's go back. Let's take a look at it, okay? No, no need to get upset. Got somebody, don't, don't get upset. It's okay, you will get this. It's not that hard if you don't overthink it. So if we go here and I go into Fast Track and I pull up my combination chart, if I look over here, I'm looking for a one, two, six. And right here, I find it. One, category one lean protein. Does everybody see that? Category one was the fat-free fair life milk. Category two, the category two bread. Category six, peanut butter. So you, you made it. You controlled insulin. You pushed the boundaries by adding the milk, but it works. It will work. Does that make sense, everyone? Okay, Christy, I'm journaling. I have been on Shabot for two and a half months. I have lost 18 pounds. I don't do holidays. I am 5'1 and weigh 129 pounds. In the last seven days, though, you said you have reached a plateau. How long have you been at this plateau? And would you like for me to check your journal in front of everyone to offer some, some hope? Or would you like to get a one-on-one -on -one private consultation so that we can get you through the plateau? No, no, no. I, I, everybody, I need that. We, we, got, we got a new member that has left the building. They were a little confused. I'll get with them. Don't worry about them. I'll get with them. Some of y'all may not be able to see all the comments. <laughs> okay, Christy wants me to check her journal. Uh, with our remaining time in the 11 o'clock session, is everybody okay with that? And Christy, I may have missed it, but can you again tell me why, why you're feeling you've hit a plateau 
because you've lost 18 pounds in two and a half months off a very small frame. So I feel like that's tremendous. So I'm assuming that you feel you've hit a plateau recently. Is that correct? Because 18, 18 pounds off your small frame is like 70 off of my frame. So tell, can you tell me, have you lost, how long has it been since you lost any weight? How many days running? Eight days. Okay, so let's take a, late, a little a look at the last eight days. Bear with me while I pull up your, your journal. Feels like I've checked your journal before. Uh, was that, am I dreaming that or did I check your journal recently? I've slept since then, I'm sorry. Okay, I thought so. I probably won't have a lot to offer um, because if I remember your journal was pretty tight. Let's just go back the last few days and look. So Tiger 16, uh, Premier Protein Shake, Healthy Choice Power Bowl, 96% lean beef with fat-free cheese and side salad. That's looking good. Good job there. Got your 16-hour fast in. Are you getting any exercise? Chick-fil-A grilled chicken salad nuggets, side salad, two slices of pizza. Also need to know about this pizza, what kind of pizza that was. Uh, uh, that would really slow you down uh, typically. Ham, potatoes with broccoli. Can you tell me about this? The ham, are you sure it was lean enough? Okay, so I, I didn't see where you had logged your steps. That's why I didn't know. Uh, ham, potatoes with broccoli. Um, uh, make sure that's really, really lean ham. Otherwise, uh, you're, you're correct. If, if the ham was 20% calories from fat or less with a small amount of potatoes limited to a quarter cup, you should be fine. Steak, shrimp, chicken with peppers, if that was all in a portion control dish, that's basically all together a four and a two. So another good day. Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets, premier protein shake, steak, shrimp, chicken wrap. Everything looks good. It says 11, something I don't feel like is correct here because it says you eat steak, shrimp, and chicken at 11.30 a.m. Premier Protein Shake at 6.30 a.m. and Grilled Chicken Nuggets at 11.43 a.m. Something doesn't look right there to me. Uh, Chick-fil-A Nuggets, Steak, Shrimp, Chicken Wrap. Um, yeah, these times look weird to me, if you want to explain the times. Your overall food quantity is fine. Everything's fine. So you're, you're wanting to lose, you're very small framed, which is works to your advantage. It takes longer to lose a pound of fat, but when it comes off, it really shows up. So let me go scroll back. I think you said your, what is your ideal weight? Christy. I'm looking back. Okay, Christy, I'm journaling. I've been on Shibola two and a half months. 
lost 18 pounds. I don't do holidays. I'm 5'1 and weigh 129. So 5'1, 129 pounds. Let's go to the idealweight.com. I don't know your age off the top of my head. It's not going to be a big deal there. So 61 inches, female, current weight, 121. Okay, greetings, thanks for using. Based upon the information you entered, your ideal weight range is 111 uh, up to 127 pounds. Does everybody see this? I want to help out so that we don't have folks that get scared off here, okay? So you're already within your ideal weight range. So this whole formula that's here is to share with you that, hey, when you're already in your weight, ideal weight loss range, you're now digging into that reserve fat. That's going to take longer to lose. If you want to get to the low end of your ideal weight range, then we've got to pick up the activity or whatnot. You said you want to be 120 pounds. So in order to do that, we need to keep calories at about 1,000 a day. Does that, does that make sense, Christy? So you'll need to keep your calories to about 1,000 a day until you reach goal if you're wanting to be at the low end of your ideal weight range. But what I feel like is in order is to commend you. Don't y'all all agree? She has reached her ideal weight range. Her losing 18 pounds is aching to me losing like 70. Do y'all follow me? Do y'all follow my, my logic there? It's like myself. No matter what I do, Christy, at 190 pounds, 190, 195, no matter what I do, I'm not going to lose more than a pound a week. Now, I might have a huge water weight fluctuation after a holiday, but I'm not going to have a net loss of more than a pound a week now at my stage in the game, and you're probably not either. You're, you've, re you've arrived. Now it's just to keep bettering yourself. Good job. Alicia says, Tammy, I have lost over 90 pounds and used the milk to cook with, but other than that, I never use it. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Anybody else? When, you, when you're not, until you get in your ideal weight range, you should see about 1%, half a percent to 1% of overall body weight, weight loss per week. Now, what we want to get to is where we enjoy the process. Until we enjoy the process, the daily living, the lifestyle, the daily living of the lifestyle is the process. Until we enjoy the process, um, getting to goal is going to feel like slow go. But once we just enjoy life, and, and that's the thing, most people, not all, but nine out of 10 people who's had some perfect days, they're like, I just feel better. Let's focus on that. Let's don't, don't focus on, you know, again, we use that Bible quote, hope deferred makes a person miserable. So when you have this hope that you're going to reach this goal overnight and tomorrow you only lost a pound, you got a hundred more to go. If you're focused on that goal, the goal, the goal, and not enjoying the process, uh, you'll just be miserable. And when you're miserable and you're engaged with something that you nobody's making you do, nobody can make you eat right but you. So when you're doing something that you've convinced yourself is torture and a have to, you're never going to get to go. Not going to happen. And then when you get there, you won't maintain it. So it's very important and fundamental that every day you tell you talk to yourself about what's good about your lifestyle. My dad, it's a funny around the house. Uh, I know he loves my mom, but when I was a young man going through some struggles, daddy said, every day I get up, I say, I love my job and I love my wife. You know, he said, I love my job. I love my wife. I love my job. I love my wife. He says, if we have a bad day, 
what good does it do me to say, oh, I'm so mad at her. You know, I'm with her and we're going to be together. So same thing for my job. If I'm talking bad about my job, then I need to go find a new job because I'm better than that. So whatever job I do, I'm going to talk good about it. So if you've chosen the lifestyle, you got to talk good about it. If you run around all day going, I'm starving to death and I'm miserable, you're not going to do this. And I suspect you're not going to find any other lifestyle that you enjoy any better. And when you go try that, all with the hopes of faster weight loss, why do we leave one program for another? All for the hopes of miraculous and faster fat loss. It's a trick of Satan to derail you. Amanda says, I take it five pounds at a time. I have lost 60 pounds in five months. Wow. I have at least 100 more to go. I think about how far I've come and start, instead of how far I have to go. Hey, man, Amanda, congratulations, sister. Wow, that is no small feat. 12 pounds a month, miraculous. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That, that is, that's a solid Paul conversion right there. Good job. Christy says, I love to challenge myself and I am being patient. Awesome. Those are virtues. Good job. Patience is a virtue. Lisa. Oh, got some more over here. Hey, Diane Jones. Hey, friend. I just seen you on Facebook. Um, I'm drinking Spark, Advocare Spark, strawberry flavor. I drink Spark during times of calorie deficit for physical energy, uh, and two, I've been running on little sleep, so it really helps you with uh, clear the cobwebs out and get, uh, get focused, clarity. Um, it's really good. The amino acids in that beverage are good for the brain. Uh, and then as well, um, it's, a, it's a terrific uh, energy producer. Good to have you, Diane. Thank you for all you do. Wow challenges. Lisa recommends wow challenges for breaking a plateau, and so do we. A wow challenge is a silly, fun exercise in self-discipline that is very beneficial, will help folks break through a plateau. I think the challenge for Christy, though, is a wow might help, but she's really not at a plateau. She's really just in her ideal weight range, and that calorie deficit, is, it's a very little margin of error now. Lisa says, I love the idea of enjoying the process. I think that's why I lose motivation. Uh, wasn't enjoying it. Absolutely. Um, I find ways to enjoy my life, even when it's difficult. I find, I love that. I, I love the challenge. I, you know, you, you always talk yourself into it. And if you struggle with that, I started an exercise many years ago at the recommendation of a doctor friend of mine. And that was everything uh, that, that I'm doing uh, or that I have to do on a daily basis. Ask myself what's good about it, what's bad about it, what's funny about it. Don't never just tell what's bad about it, but also counter that with what's good about this, like broccoli. You know, what's good about it? Well, it's, it's shaped like a broom, uh, and it, it get, helps get rid of toxins and waste. Uh, what else is good about broccoli? All that fiber helps me maintain regularity, and it controls the fat bus. What else is good about it? When I consume broccoli, it uh, helps me burn additional calories through digestion. Uh, what else is good about it? All the phytonutrition and the phytochemicals that are so good for my cells. What's bad about broccoli? I don't particularly like the taste of it. <laughs> that might trump all the good. Uh, but you've got to come up with the good stuff uh, to combat the bad stuff. Nikki. Both is changing my life, and so is the ministry. Thank you so much for your team and yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Nikki. Appreciate that. We'll be brother and sister. 
Diane, where do you get it? Um, I get, oh, Joni posted it, Diane, uh, right there, uh, www.blowtorchfat.com, www.blowtorchfat.com. I make popsicles with them uh, and use as a freebie when I've got the munchies, um, but I mainly drink it, and it's enjoyable. Uh, it's like, uh, from a caffeine standpoint, a, a potent cup of coffee, but then you've got those amino acids in it that are good for the brain. All right, everybody, I'm about to switch gears and go to the noon session. You're welcome to follow me there. I text out that link. I'll also be going live on Facebook. Uh, look forward to connecting with you at the noon hour. We'll have an open forum kind of like this was since we didn't have that many meal idea questions. Uh, we'll go to the noon hour and uh, open it up for more Q&A. And &A. it's a great, great time to further your education and keep going in the right direction. Uh, Diane, if you're still there on Facebook, my mother is now in the Zoom room. Hey, Mama. Uh, Diane was on Facebook, Mama. And uh, she, my mother was telling you, Diane, she drinks Spark every day. All right, y'all, I'm going to the noon session. I'll see some of you over there. God bless you.